eggs, veggies, and melted cheese, all wrapped in a warm tortilla. It's so good, they include seconds. Get two for just three thirty-three dollars at McDonald's. Price and participation may vary. Limited time only. Miravan, about 30 p.m. Traffic Central. And let me introduce our first guest live here. It's uh, Eagle Scout Tim Klotz. How about a round of applause for Tim? Uh, we're getting a lot of text Tim, from people saying, where is Tim? Where are you guys? I want to come over. We're at the uh, Civic Center at Oral Park. Is this, uh, what's the street? This is uh, John Ravinia. Jeffrey uh, Ravinia. 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 Oh, Ravinia. 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 Yeah. Ravinia. It's Ravinia. <laughs> it's right off of Ravinia. It's where all the flags are, where the lights are, where the people are. So uh, come on over. Tim, you uh, go to school where? Uh, Providence Catholic High School in New Lenox. Yeah, and by the size of Tim, can you guess which sport he plays? Uh, football. Nope, field hockey. <laughs> How weird is that? <laughs> football. You're a sophomore? Yes, sir. And what school? Providence Catholic and, High School. And what are you, flying horn frogs? Uh, no, we're the Celtics. The Celtics, I see. <laughs> what position do you play? Um, all over the offensive line. Is that right? I was an offensive line. You want to do like a, a drill here? I mean, I have to go to a three-point stance. I'd have to have a spotter. Uh, are you guys pretty good? Um, it's a good team. It's a great group of guys. So you love football? Oh yes, I love football. Do you remember being on the show last year? Uh, yeah, when I was the kid of the week. Yeah, it was a big career break for you, didn't you think? Um, yes. <laughs> <laughs> Have you officially made Eagle Scout now? Yes. Uh, am I wrong about this? Aren't you a little young to make it? You must have done nothing but scouting. Um, well, I played a lot of sports when I was little, so I mean, I, I've done a lot besides scouting, but most scouts don't make Eagle Scout until right before they turn 18. That's what I thought. Yeah, yeah so good for you. Thank you. Uh, founding member of the Orland Park Boy Scout Troop, is that right? Mm -hmm. Orland Park Boy Scout Troop 383. Okay. And uh, the you helped form this uh, church uh, about five years ago, I guess now. It's like an, a lifetime for you. Yes, sir. Yeah. Uh, been in Scouts for how long? Um, since I was in the first grade. And that'd be about 10 years? Yes. Yeah. Um, and created, this is the part we talked about last year, created the Captain Ronald L. Zinn Memorial Garden. Explain who Captain Zinn was. Uh, Captain Zinn was a two-time U.S. Olympian who graduated in 1957 from Carl Sandburg High School, and he was the first casualty from Orland Park in Vietnam. And, what, and uh, we talked about this last year, but uh, uh, remind me, what sparked your interest? Um, we were, my Boy Scout troop was making a geo challenge, and one of the sites that we were at, there was a rock with a plaque on it, and it just said in memory of Ronald Zinn. So I researched it, found out who he was, and well, I thought that if there was one cause that was deserving of my Eagle project, that this was it. Uh, and, you know, I've said this many times, I probably said to you last year, you learn more by shutting up and listening, especially to older folks talk than you do anything else. And I know some of Captain Zinn's uh, buddies showed up for the ceremony, right? Yes, a lot of them. Um, there were lots of representatives from his graduating class at West Point, and I also got plenty of emails from people who served with him, people who went to school with him. It was amazing that all these people, just uh, what appreciation they had for being able to know this guy. Now, at 15 years old, Vietnam's something in, in, you know, online in, in history. You know, it, 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 all your friends, that's their only connection. Do you feel like you have a connection to what went on in that period of America and what went on over there and captains in by going through this? Uh, yes, I, I feel like I learned a lot more about the Vietnam War just by looking stuff up to create this project. Jump in. I agree. This is your hometown, baby. I think this is so amazing because, honestly, Tim, this is so selfless because you did this for somebody you didn't even know, you did the research, and you still keep in touch with uh, his commanding officer and his family, right? Yes. So, so how do you stay in touch? Um, mostly through email. And uh, what's the reason to stay in touch? Um, just because you're a swell guy? Yeah, we, we well, a lot of times when the anniversary comes around for dedication and stuff, we email back and forth with um, his commanding officer and uh, his family. Uh, I assume a lot of his buddies and his family all said thank you. Were they surprised that you would make this connection at your age? Um, yeah, they, I, I feel like they were expecting some like history buff, right, maybe like a right, 35 year old right. history teacher. Right, 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 right. What did they tell you? They tell you some stories? Uh, yeah, a lot of them were telling me stories. Um, his brother Jerry Zinn was mm -hmm. telling me stories from their childhood. Um, one of his roommates from West Point's wife was telling me stories when how he would help his friends at West Point. Yeah, and an exceptional guy. Yeah, he touched a lot of people. Proud member of this community. Tim, your grandfather, longtime mayor of Orland Park, do you feel that kind of public service is, is in your blood? Um, 
In a way, yes. And I got firefighters on one side of the family, and then um, the mayor, former mayor of Boylan Park, on the other. So that's pretty cool. What do you want to do with the rest of your life? And yes, we do need an answer. Um, well, I might be a firefighter, like my dad was. Or, oh, good. Yeah. Well, tell me about your dad. Um, well, he just retired last year. He, he was a third generation firefighter. His, his father was, and so was his grandfather. So, long line of firefighters. So. And a nephew who was, you know, as big as you are, and an offensive lineman and played football and um, realized he wasn't going to make the NFL. Not that you won't, buddy, if that's your dreams. But uh, became an EMT and a fireman. Loves it. It's a great life. So, yeah, it, it's a good way to help a lot of people. So, uh, how do we uh, figure out what makes you such a good kid? Is it your parents? Um, honestly, I would give them credit for that with how they raised me. <laughs> by the way, yeah, his mom was uh, say he better. Yeah, his mom, Margie, who's <laughs> awesome, by the way. The Margie, Margie's phenomenal. Margie has sent us a million notes, got us yeah. all organized. Yeah. Margie yeah. basically set this entire show up. Ross, I don't know what you're doing. <laughs> <laughs> no, but it was cute because Tim's Eagle Scout, he's getting ready, obviously a very well-made young man, and getting the, uh, did you eat breakfast from his mom? Did you get your time? <laughs> time to wake up this morning. <laughs> you know why I did? She's always going to be your mom. So you may grow to be six seven or six eight, and uh, she's still gonna wonder if you have breakfast and uh, if you're taking care of yourself. So you'd be nice to your mom. Oh, yeah. From one line to another. <laughs> so I don't know to meet you in person. You were a great kid of the week last year, and you're a great representative of this community. Thank you for your your uh, your help in helping us remember and, and honor the members of uh, the Vietnam veterans community, and also uh, helping celebrate the wall here. Thank you for the privilege of being on the radio. I appreciate it. Right. Now you can go take a nap or go to school, what's your call? <laughs> but I've listened to your mom. Uh, we'll take a break, come back. More from Orland Park in a moment. Come out and see us at Orland Park City Center.